Indonesia's economy has grown steadily for the last 15 years, improving the lives of millions of people. But this growth has been uneven. Today, more than 100 million Indonesians still live on less than $2 a day, and 60% of the poor rely on agriculture for their livelihoods. Small-scale farmers have little or no purchasing power to access the goods and services they need to work their way out of poverty. What many businesses don't realise is that these 100 million people are producers, workers and consumers who can be included in their business models. And that's where we come in. AIB Rural terdiri dari tim tenaga ahli yang memfasilitasi petani kecil dan usaha kecil agar mereka dapat menangkap peluang pasar serta mendapatkan jasa, produk maupun akses pasar yang mereka butuhkan sehingga pendapatan mereka dapat meningkat. AIP Rural partners with businesses of all sizes, whether national and multinational companies or small to medium enterprises, to develop win-win and inclusive business models, ensuring profitability while at the same time helping lift people out of poverty. Kami mengkaji setiap langkah di dalam rantai nilai serta kemudian memetakan peluang-peluang usaha yang ada di dalamnya. Kemudian kami berinvestasi bersama mitra-mitra kami seperti dari kalangan pelaku usaha, dari asosiasi bisnis, dari pemerintah pusat maupun lokal, lembaga-lembaga swadaya masyarakat maupun dari lembaga penelitian. We know where the market potential is and that's why AIP Rural is investing 112 million Australian dollars in Eastern Indonesia to leverage what the private sector is willing to co-invest. By providing much needed market information, technical expertise or co-funding, the program shares the risk and shares the investment with the private sector and medium-scale smallholder producers to help drive markets and business innovation. What we do aims to impact hundreds of thousands of people in agriculture and agribusinesses. We can achieve impact at such a scale by tackling the root causes of why markets often don't serve the poor well. It takes a special team to run such a program. Tim tenaga ahli kami datang dari berbagai macam latar belakang dan mereka memiliki banyak pengalaman baik di Indonesia maupun di negara Afrika atau Asia lainnya. People who work at AIP Rural are passionate about business, development and agriculture. They understand how things work in the industry and apply their knowledge to create additional value for the poor and the linked businesses. Increasing productivity and access to markets is one sure way for small holding farmers to enjoy better incomes and help grow rural economies. One of our partners is a seed producer called PT Asti. With a secured market in Java, they were keen to expand PT Asti sebenarnya melihat ada potensi pasar di Madura, tapi resikonya cukup besar, sehingga mereka sangat berhati-hati. Kesediaan kami untuk menanggung sebagian dari resiko keuangan, itu memberi keyakinan pada PT Asti untuk melakukan ekspansi bisnis mereka ke Madura. AIP Rural provided innovative ideas for their marketing strategy. The idea was eye-opening. We never thought of marketing our seeds through farmers' groups. With AIP Rural, we were able to open linkages which establish local grain buyers. Ini kerjasama yang sama-sama menguntungkan. Di satu pihak, kami membantu ribuan petani miskin untuk meningkatkan produktivitas mereka. Dan pada saat yang sama, kami juga membantu PT Asti meningkatkan pangsa pasar mereka dan juga profitabilitas mereka. Since he started farming, Pak Ali has been planting local maize seed on his plot of land in Madura. But last year, Pak Ali decided to plant hybrid seed on two-thirds of his land. Yang lokal itu paling banyak itu sekitar setengah. Kalau yang hybrid ini tiga kali lipat dari yang biasa. The availability of hybrid seed in the market gave Pak Ali a choice. He sold a half of his harvest for a good amount of cash and saved the rest for his family consumption. For the first time in his life, he saw a chance to increase his harvest. Pertemuan awal dari teman, sehingga saya mencoba membuktikan hasilnya sampai saya tetap bersama Nusantara. The success has inspired Asti to expand their programs in Madura. 
tapping into new areas with high growth potential. Ini contoh klasik bagaimana kami bekerja. Perusahaan swasta membawa perubahan yang sustainable yang juga meningkatkan pendapatan petani miskin. Research leads to innovations that can promote growth in agriculture. However, linking excellent research institutions with the market players is a challenge in many countries. The program works with many local research institutions and private firms to promote practical solutions to improve smallholding farmers' income. For example, shallot farmers work in a very risky business environment. They are not just hammered by price fluctuation, but also by pests that destroy whole harvests. In recent years, farmers have come to rely heavily on chemicals to combat pests. But pests have become smarter and tougher to kill. Some of them have built resistance towards certain types of chemicals. Researchers are always looking for alternative ways to combat insects. Mereka telah menerapkan beberapa tahapan kegiatan, contohnya seperti ini trap yang paling sederhana. Yang kedua adalah pemanfaatan jaring untuk menghindari ulat masuk. Yang ketiga, penggunaan agen hayati berupa virus NPV. We are here to apply these innovations and commercializing them by engaging with the private sector. This includes innovations such as light traps and net covers as part of an integrated pest management system. In one village, net provider Pak Buarif plays a central role in farmers' battle against insects. Saya mempunyai jaring itu kira-kira lima star. Yang pinjam di sini kira-kira sudah ada empat puluh petani. Itu nyawanya ada yang ukurannya 0,200 hektar rata-rata. The impact on farmers has been dramatic. They can save as much as 1,500 Australian dollars worth of pesticides per crop per hectare. If we can provide farmers access to alternative solutions that are effective, it will be a start to generating the correct incentives for increased involvement by the private sector. A chain reaction from other market players will enable scale-up and sustainability. Irrigation is potentially six times more effective at increasing productivity when compared to all other inputs. But many of the irrigation schemes, at the smallest or tertiary level, are ineffective or in complete ruins. This is principally because of underinvestment and a lack of sustainable management systems. We aim to increase the access the farmers have to water by encouraging more investment in tertiary irrigation, the infrastructure that goes along with that, and then also facilitating sustainable commercial management of those schemes so that they last. A small village in Tuban has been reaping the benefits from a business partnership. Belum ada nyipa pun hanya rata-rata enam ton mas ya, enam ton per hektar. Tapi setelah adanya program pemerintah dan nyipa pemanisasi ini sudah meningkat menjadi sepuluh sampai dua belas ton per hektar mas sekarang ya. The Water User Association reached out to Pak Herendato, a local investor. Yang masyarakat itu yang kita sama-sama rapat kita. Anu, gimana supaya baiknya itu seperti aja dari pengairan juga pertanian juga kalau rapat itu jadi bagaimana bisa hasil baik gitu. Farmers get water for their fields, and the investor gets a proportion of their output. Investor tersebut mau mengairi dengan catatan 25% dari hasil sawah dibayar untuk investor tadi mas itu. Irrigation schemes like this one now serve more than 326 hectares. The farmers have been so successful that through the Water User Association, they have bought out their investment. Semua lini masyarakat itu ikut menikmati dari hasil pemanisasi tersebut. The program is looking into ways to replicate the success to other regions in eastern Indonesia. So our value added is to help identify the commercially and technical viable schemes in tertiary irrigation and then to try and scale up the approach to other parts of the country.
access to financial services is important for boosting growth in rural economies and increasing prosperity among smallholding farmers. So rather than putting moral or political pressure on banks to lend to agriculture, we're rather working with them to identify what would be the most profitable segments of that sector to lend into uh, while still achieving good impact for smallholders. Today, the portion of banks lending to agriculture is only about 5%. However, there are ways to get around this. We're introducing the idea of value chain financing. This keeps costs low and mitigates the risks that the banks have in lending to farmers. The coffee sector in East Nusa Tenggara is competitive and has great potential to expand. Bank NTT is one of the financial institutions that is committed to providing smallholding farmers in the region access to loans and microinsurance. Kenapa pihak bank NTT berani membiayai untuk para petani kopi? Apa yang dibeli oleh Asnikom sudah pasti ada pembelinya. Pihak bank yakin kredit yang dikasih pasti akan lunas. AIP Rural introduced Bank NTT to a model where they provided a loan to a coffee cooperative that wanted to increase their supply chain capacity. Bisa mengakses modal kepada Bank NTT dalam bentuk pinjaman, Asnikom bisa membeli kopi anggotanya kopi petani itu dengan harga yang cukup tinggi sehingga terjadi dampaknya terjadi peningkatan ekonomi rumah tangga petani masing-masing. In value chain financing, the loan sizes are small, they're targeted, they're seasonal, but they still have very, very good short-term income benefits. So we'd like to take the positive experience from value chain financing so that more banks can offer this to more people in other parts of the country so more farmers can benefit. Melalui pendekatan yang komprehensif seperti ini, kami yakin bahwa program ini akan menciptakan dampak yang signifikan dan berkelanjutan bagi petani kecil, baik pria maupun wanita, di wilayah timur Indonesia. AIP Rural, delivering innovative solutions for businesses and farmers in eastern Indonesia.